Hi everybody, we are back. This plate is a little bit much. Um, it's Thursday again, I'm so excited. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. This is a grocery haul. So I get asked a lot what, as a nutritionist and um, business owner of a business that does like healthy, ready-made meals, what I eat, People a lot of times assume that I'm like cooking elaborate meals for myself at home. And to be honest, since I started this business, I stopped cooking for myself at home. So this grocery haul is perfect for the person who wants to eat healthy, but doesn't really know what to do um, because they don't have very much time and they don't really know like what to buy or what to cook because all this stuff is like very low maintenance, low prep very economical, um, very little time involved in all of this. So this is really like perfect for a lot of you guys out there. Um, but yeah, since I started basically it, which is like really, um, involves a lot of cooking and planning. I stopped kind of cooking for myself. I used this, it used to be my like creative outlet and I would always meal prep for myself on the weekends for my lunches. And then every night dinner was kind of like up for grabs. And I liked that because that was my chance to kind of like go through the fridge and like really create something. Um, and now I'm just like, <laughs> no, I'm done with my cooking for the week. I kind of already did it for my clients and I don't want to do any of that. So yeah, this, this grocery haul is like perfect for all of you um, out there who like want something really easy and really fast. Um, and it also happens to be economical, whether you're looking for that or not. So cheers to you. Cheers Thursday. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to do this one. So let me know your questions as we go. Um, I'll try and like kind of explain everything and what and why. And, um, yeah, go through like what my meal day looks like and yeah, we're going to get started. Okay. All right. So clear some space. So this, these groceries, um, are to full disclosure. I bought them on Monday, so I've kind of eaten a lot of them already. So that's right. Why you're going to see so many like open bags, but this, this, these are things that like I buy every week or just always have in my pantry. So I'm regularly purchasing them. And these are things that I, that I like eat every single week, like religiously. So First and foremost, um, kind of the base of my diet is um, greens. So spinach, um, this is one of my favorites, just for salads or for smoothies. And then the bag that I already ate was baby, um, baby mixed greens or whatever those ones are. I really like those for salads. They're super like soft and tasty. <laughs> and then I have these, this, this is from Trader Joe's. Most everything that I'm going to show you today is from Trader Joe's. You can get it at Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. <laughs> I, I shop there for my clients. Um, they have really good deals, really good uh, produce. It's always seasonal. They are as local as possible. So they're like super awesome. Um, so most everything here you can get at Trader Joe's or you can get at a regular grocery store, wherever you're shopping. But so I had a bag of... Um, mixed baby greens and I have a bag of spinach and then I have these power greens which I don't love for salads but these are this is like what I put in my smoothies if I'm doing smoothies um so kind of my day looks like two salads basically <laughs> I pretty much take like a bag of greens and dump about half of it into a bowl and then I add a bunch of vegetables toppings a protein and then I kind of just Frizzle it with olive oil and vinegar, and that's like my um, salad dressing. <laughs> this, but this way of quote unquote cooking um, or eating is just a way to kind of like it tastes good. Um, it's really easy, and there's no dishes. There's no there's the prep is zero. There's no prep. You cook you. There's no cook time. It takes like a minute. You just kind of empty things into a bowl and stir it around, and you eat it, and it's like super amazing. So. Um, highly recommend it. That's kind of what I do for most of my meals during the week. It's just 
a couple bags of greens. Um, I do love smoothies, especially in the summer. So I'll take a bag. These, because I don't love them for salads, I don't like the texture that much, the, but they're really good for smoothies. So I will um, take these, uh, I'll like a cup of this, put it in a blender. I do um, frozen zucchini and yellow squash during the summer. They're amazing smoothie bases because they, um, I freeze them and then that kind of acts as my ice. They're really creamy. They make like a creamy base. They have no, neutral flavor, so you don't have to worry about that. But you get like the fiber and um, all of the benefits of that as your base, as opposed to a fruit, which is going to be like really sugary and carby, and I don't handle um, fruit very well. So that's what I do. I just add a flavored protein powder. I, I usually do like a chocolate, and then I add a little extra cocoa powder, and that's really good. That's super easy. That's my like breakfast or lunch. Um, and again, that's kind of like a one stop shop. Like everything goes into one dish and I only have to wash the blender. Well, like I guess a cup that I stick in the <laughs> dishwasher, but that's really easy for me. Um, no cooking required. It's really economical. Um, and like, there's no, you don't need a recipe. You don't need like anything fancy to do that. So a couple bags of greens is where I start for my week. And then, oh, this is a good one, especially during the summertime. Anyone seen these before? They're like these little mini, that's probably really loud, cucumbers. They're, see, I, this one I was just like literally eating off of. Um, but they're really tiny, like bite-sized. So these are great. I will take a scissors over my salad bowl and chop this up into my salad because <laughs> I don't want to get a cutting board and a knife out. Um, and I'm being serious. I really don't. So I use the scissors to chop these up into a salad. Um, but the other thing you can do with these, if you make like a dip, if you have hummus laying around, you can um, dip this into your hummus. Super good, super easy. Who's on there? Is that Amy? Lotta? Uh, it's not showing me who's on there, but. Um, so yeah, I love these cucumbers, especially during summer. And I'm definitely, I didn't make any dip yet this week, but I probably will because I still have like half a bag of these. So these are awesome for the summer and awesome for salads. Um, okay. I always have beans on hand. If you watch any of my Facebook lives or listen to any of my nutrition ramblings, um, you know that I think like beans are awesome. They're super good for our gut. They're a really great source of protein and fiber, and they're also very economical, and you don't have to cook them. So I bought this was um, a box of edamame from the fridge sec refrigerated section of Trader Joe's. I put this on top of my salad. This could be my protein for my salad, and I would be done. Um, and it would also be like my gut health <laughs> thing for the day. Um, but I also love to do a can of beans. So I have just cans of beans in my pantry at all times, all different types. I got this because I wanted to make hummus to eat with my cucumbers. I haven't made it yet. Um, but garbanzo beans, kidney beans, black beans, uh, white beans, whatever. Whatever kind of beans you like, you always have these on hand. This is going to be a couple servings for you for protein fiber wise. Um, hi, Debbie. <laughs> So beans are really awesome. Like this is a powerhouse nutrition food. You don't have to cook them. Um, there's no mess, like no cleanup. You can add this to so many different things and kind of like knock out a couple categories with it. So love, love, love beans. Um, like I said, this one could go on a salad or I could make it into hummus. It could be a snack. It could also be, um, hi Sue, how are you? Um, it could also be uh, that hummus, then I could like add that to my salad as my protein or like mix it into my salad dressing, whatever I wanted to do. So beans are a staple. I always have some beans laying around to throw into things. Um, and that's just quick, easy, awesome protein. No cooking, no mess. I uh, always have like five or 10 avocados floating around my fridge somewhere. But again, these are kind of like a multitasker. So I love adding them to salads because of course they taste awesome. They're really creamy and filling. Um, but what I love to do is like cut one in half and 
dip crackers into it and that's my snack. Or like today, I thought I was gonna have time for lunch and it turned out I did not. Like literally, I, I had, was running out of the house and I hadn't eaten yet. Um, so I cut open an avocado, I grabbed some crackers, and while I was driving, I just dipped crackers into my avocado. And that was lunch. And that is totally fine. Um, because this is like nutrition powerhouse, the crackers have a little bit of protein in them. So we've got our healthy fats, our fiber, our protein, and we're good. But avocados are such a multitasker in that sense. Um, you can add them to salads, they're gonna taste really good and provide you with that satiety that you need. Or you can use them as a snack or <laughs> in my case, a meal replacement. So always have some of these lying around. Um, and then the crackers, these are just like plain old water crackers from Trader Joe's. They're gluten-free, I love that. Um, they're bite-sized, that's fun. But I always have something salty, crunchy, kind of lying around. It's good for a snack and just when I get like the munchies or I have a couple hours till my next meal, this is a really great snack. And <laughs> I always have some cheese. I really like cheese. This is a manchego that I picked up this week from Trader Joe's. Not my favorite. It was fine, but I'm kind of always switching it up anyways. So um, the cheese and crackers thing, I understand cheese is not like a nutrition powerhouse, but it does. Ha it is a fat source. It is a protein source, um, and it's kind of a great way to satisfy your indulgent tooth. I find by the end of the week, I'm kind of wanting something a little bit more exciting or more like decadent feeling so cheese and crackers is a perfect way to kind of like satisfy that and like today i had a really light lunch and a couple hours before dinner so i just had some gluten-free crackers a little bit of cheese and that was perfect like this is always a good snack to have on hand um, it goes well in like a lunch box if you're packing a lunch box for your kids which we're only like two weeks away from that, I think. So yeah, wow, that happened fast. Um, hi, Erin, hi, Tony. Uh, so yeah, so a little bit of cheese, some gluten-free crackers. This, These are great to have lying around for snacks. Um, if you have unexpected guests, you have something to feed them, that's nice. Um, okay, so for salads, I kind of said, I don't even mix, I don't use bottled salad dressings. I did a whole Facebook Live on bottled salad dressings. They're a waste of money. <laughs> Do not buy bottled salad dressings. You can make your own for super cheap, super easy. And I don't even like purposefully mix my, my own outside of my salad bowl anymore. All you have to do is take your olive oil and your acid, which it could be lemons or vinegar. Um, and just drizzle it over your greens and that's it so it's as easy as that there's no need to like get out a separate dish and like specifically mix up your salad dressing just pour it over your greens and your vegetables and whatever and you're done this is the one i love from trader joe's sorry that's not showing up um this is organic unfiltered you probably can't see but it, yeah, you really can't see. Um, this organic unfiltered olive oil is like, you can see there's like sediment at the bottom, which means they didn't filter out, like they didn't like completely filter it. But this is like the tastiest olive oil. Like I could dip bread in this. I could just like drink it. Like it's so good. Um, highly recommend it. It's only like $5. Uh, I go through this about every two weeks. Um, I use it for everything. It just tastes amazing. When you're consuming like a really good um, source of fat, like olive oil, but it's also organic and it's um, really like natural, you you are truly like getting all those beneficial fats and nutrients from that as opposed to a canola oil or like a more processed oil or fat. Um, where you might be getting some pesticides, some other things that you don't really need and might be missing out on some of the nutrients that a really high quality product like this is gonna have. This is where Trader Joe's like really rocks the house because this is at a regular grocery store, this would probably be like 15, 20 bucks. It's $5 at Trader Joe's and it's phenomenal. So highly recommended. Sorry, you can't really see it. Wait, wait. there we go. That's what the label looks like, okay. 
I always have a bag of lemons. Um, this is great for salad dressings. So again, you just slice a lemon in half and drizzle it over your greens. That is your, your acid for your salad dressing. Not to mention, this is loaded with vitamin C, antioxidants, um, a ton of nutrients that we really need and don't get enough of. Our antioxidants, which I, I hope we know what those are, but antioxidants um, are, once they're used up, they're gone. We don't have a store of antioxidants, but we really need them all the time because we're always running into oxidation. It's our oxygen. We ultimately die from what keeps us alive, which is oxygen. It's so fascinating. But antioxidants um, balance out those free radicals and help us to live like a healthier, better life, like feeling better. So lemons, like ride or die, like <laughs> I put these in everything. So half a lemon over my salad, that's my acid or I can do vinegar if I want. But this is, I'm always like boiling this with water into a tea or um, putting it into my water, just like a glass of water, whatever. So these are really, just always have lemons. They're great for everything. Um, and then my other, my other ride or die, Bragg's apple cider vinegar. This is a great one. I, okay, I drink this every day, but I don't expect you to. It's a little bit weird. Um, it definitely makes you feel like you're gonna vomit. Um, <laughs> you don't have to do that. But other than that, this is a great, it, this is with the mother. I hope you can see that. Mm. So with the mother, this is the only one that you're not gonna be able to find at Trader Joe's. They do not have unpasteurized apple cider vinegar there. So you have to go to Schnucks, um, I would recommend Shooks. They always have this on sale. This would normally be, hi, Laura. Oh, thanks for coming. Um, cheers, Laura. I hope you're drinking some Riesling. <laughs> okay, so the apple cider vinegar. Um, with the mother, that means that they, they didn't kill the bacteria. So usually when you buy this, mine's shooken up. Usually when you buy this, um, the top, this part, is gonna look really clear and you're gonna see like sediment at the bottom. Um, you just shake that up and that's all the good stuff. It's all the good stuff in here. And the reason why people drink this in the morning is because it um, alkalizes our body. It's really good for our gut health. And there's also some really interesting studies done about, um, they, they gave two groups <laughs> The same exact diet, one had like a, um, not even a high dose, like one and a half tablespoons of this a day, one and a half ounces, sorry. It's like a shot glass worth of this a day. And um, they lost like two inches of fat in two months, three months, without changing anything else, without exercising, without changing their diet. That's pretty incredible. Um, so this it contains something called acetic acid, which boosts our metabolism and is just this is just really good for us overall. So vinegar of any type, um, I don't wanna say that. Most vinegars have acetic acid in them, which is awesome for our metabolism. I love this one though, because it's like double whammy. We get the probiotics. Um, it's great for alkalizing all of the things that we really want. So you can also, instead of drinking this, you can just put this on your salad as part of your salad dressing. That's a great way to get in your apple cider vinegar. You don't have to drink it. Um, okay. I always have some nuts lying around. These are, again, like a double whammy. Um, great for a snack, great for putting on top of your salad. So nuts are gonna have fiber, protein, and healthy fats. So we kind of, again, like get a lot in one. And what I love to do, honestly, I love nuts, but raw. Almonds aren't really that exciting. So what I do is I take, this is like the one piece of cooking, <laughs> true cooking that I do for myself. I cook for my clients, but cooking for myself. I um, take the almonds, I put them in a saute pan with a touch of my olive oil, salt and pepper, and I toast them. And the way you know a nut is toasted is you can, <laughs> 
it, ha it has a fragrance. This is just coming out all wrong. Um, so you toast these nuts in a saute pan with a little bit of olive oil and salt. And once you can really smell them, they have like a fragrance and they kind of turn a little bit brown. You know that they're done. So that, oh my God, just that tiny bit of effort, which it doesn't take any effort because you just put them in a pan, you turn on the heat and you wait until you can smell them a little bit. Um, just, it like turns this from a bland snack into like the most delicious thing ever. And I will put, I'll make a big batch at the beginning of the week. I've already eaten my whole batch of toasted almonds for the week. Um, and I will put them on my salad or I'll take them with me for a snack. So that that's a really awesome, like, I love things that go two ways. You can like do multiple things with them. And this is definitely one of those. Okay. Well, Oh, so I said I kind of eat like two salads a day because I don't want to cook. Um, that is true, except for then Trader Joe's came out with the amazing red lentil pasta. I am gluten-free. I am gluten intolerant. I get a rash. It's a mess. Um, so these are like a lifesaver. I'm also come from an Italian family, and I was kind of raised like having pasta every day. And I just, I really love it. It kind of like brings home back to me. So these red lentil pasta, this is not like other gluten-free pasta products where they fall apart or they have a weird cooking time or they don't like taste very good or their texture is not right. These have a really good al dente texture um, and they taste really good. I think they taste better than a normal noodle uh, and they hold up. They don't fall apart at all. So all of that but because a serving of this has 13 grams of protein, all I have to do is mix this with pasta sauce and a little bit of my staple Parmesan cheese, which I cannot believe there is none in my grocery haul. Um, and that's my meal. I don't have to like add meat. I don't have to cook turkey or beef or anything and add it to this because that's plenty of protein. I mean, that's amazing. Not, and I'll always like have it with like a little green salt. That is awesome. So this is a an amazing product. Like if you have not tried these from Trader Joe's, you have to. You love pasta and you also love being low carb. This is the way to go. This is a really like balance. Let's see what is the carb. Um, three grams of fiber. So net carb, 29 grams net carb plus 13 grams of protein. This is a very balanced you're good. This is awesome. So what I do is I cook this whole bag um, at the beginning of the week. I bought two bags this week. Um, <laughs> but I'll cook this whole bag at the beginning of the week and just mix it with my jar of pasta sauce, which I didn't put up in my bag. Um, mix it with my jar of pasta sauce, and then I just stick it in the fridge. And that way, when I come home from work, or I've had a long day, or maybe I just need like a little bitty snack. It's just ready to go. All I do is pop it in the microwave for a couple of minutes or put it on the stove top, and I'm kind of done. This is easy and awesome. Okay, protein, protein. So as I said, I don't cook a whole lot of protein, especially animal protein. Um, animal protein, chicken, beef, pork, uh, whatever, that's going to be the most expensive thing you put in your grocery cart. And it's also going to be the most labor intensive. And it's also going to be the most likely to make a mess and like mess up and get you sick. Um, and this doesn't happen awesome often. I don't want to like freak anyone out and make you think like you're going to get salmonella tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I mean, just avoiding like, um, sorry, my mom's coming to pick me up for our dinner. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure she wasn't waiting outside. Okay, so if you're cooking like chicken, beef, pork, you're likely spending anywhere from um, 7 to 15, 20 bucks on that protein for the week for you. <laughs> yeah, it is really expensive. And how much time and effort are you putting into cooking that? So if you buy a bag of frozen chicken, you may you have to thaw it in a way that's not going to contaminate the rest of your food. And then you have to cook it. That's You have to season it. 
Um, we, for basically, we marinate all of our meat the night before, which is another couple of hours, not to mention like it has to be thawed, marinated, and then it takes a while to cook. You have to make sure the temperature is correct. Okay, you get my story. It is labor intensive um, and it's expensive and I don't wanna do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being really serious. So my jam is canned beans, super easy, super cost effective, no cooking required. And I love canned fish. Oh, I'm trying to get the top of that. Nothing to see there. Um, canned fish. Oh, you know what? There's one more I was gonna. Pull this one out. Um, I love canned fish. I also I do I'll do like the raw semen. So this is a pricier item, but what I do with this, so this this is how many pounds? Um this is a little bit over half a pound, and it was seven dollars. And I'm gonna turn this into um about five portions. So that's not a bad deal for me a little bit more than a dollar a portion that's okay i love some salmon so this is just the upside down yeah that's really helpful um this is just the trader joe's like wild caught um sockeye salmon i always do the wild caught don't ever do farmed when it comes to fish because you're getting ripped off um those fish are fed we hear i mean we eat salmon because it has all these healthy fats in it and it's really wonderful for us. If it's farmed, those fish are being fed like corn and feed and they do not have the same chemical makeup that a wild fish does. And you can tell that usually the natural color of a farmed salmon is gray. So they add color to it. <laughs> so if you're ever at the fish counter or you're like looking at a frozen product like this, it will say color added. And you might be like, oh, and not think anything of it, but that means that it was fed an unnatural diet and does not have the color that a real like wild salmon does. So you always wanna go wild with this. Um, farmed is not worth it, even like organic farmed, that doesn't mean anything, there are no standards for organic fish. <laughs> so that's a waste of money, it's just a way for them to charge you more. So I always have some frozen salmon lying around. And this is super easy, fish thaws, really quickly this will thaw in five minutes in a bowl of warm water and I don't have to take it out of the package and then all I do is pop this the two fillets this is two um onto a sheet pan in my toaster oven at 400 for about five minutes I season it with salt pepper and lemon and that's done and it's cooked for the rest of the week so all I do is take a little piece off and put it in my salad or Put it in my pasta or just like eat it on, on a cracker or whatever so this is a great very economical low cook time um product to try not product spicing salmon um but other than that if i'm really feeling lazy the canned fish is awesome so i know i always get a pushback on the sardines and i know i understand like maybe this was kind of like Brussels sprouts, like we're raised to think they're just like super disgusting, but they're really not bad. Um, there's a lot of different varieties to try this these days. <laughs> this is smoked and they're pretty good. Um, not to mention, I don't know, I kind of like, I love that how beneficial this product is. So I just eat it anyway. So this with the sardines, um, <laughs> We have a huge rate of osteoporosis and osteopenia in this country. And it doesn't appear that dairy is helping at all. So what I don't usually recommend that people get their calcium from dairy products. I say bony fish is the way to go. When you eat the bones of that fish, which are small, tiny, soft enough for us to chew, swallow, and digest, we actually get all the calcium that those bones contain, which is incredible. So this is not only like a super nutrient dense product because it has um, all the, the nutrients from the um, fat, the healthy fats that are in this, but we also get that calcium and that's really hard to find. So fatty fish, this is the way to go. This was like $1.69 and I cut this 
can in half and make it into two portions. So that's really good deal. Um, and plus the nice thing about these is you buy a bunch of them, like maybe they go on sale, you buy a bunch of them and you stick them in your pantry and then you don't have to worry about, like if you come back from vacation and it's late and you're like, I don't have anything to eat tomorrow. Oh wait, <laughs> this is in the pantry and you do and you're good to go. Um, so that's awesome. And then, I don't know, canned tuna, not my favorite, but I'll do it. It's totally fine. Again, I cut the can in half. That's two portions for me. And um, a little bit less calcium than the small bony fish, like a sardine and an anchovy are going to have more calcium than tuna. But still a good option, very economical, no cooking, super easy. And again, both of these are pretty versatile. So you can mix them into a salad, but you could make you could put them in the pasta that I was talking about. You could um, make a casserole out of them, a stir fry, like lots of different ways to use that. So, oh, what else? Oh, that bag's empty. Okay. Mmm, chia seeds. So, a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to eat the chia seeds because they have a super high fat content. So, the label is going to tell you that. But what I know is that. Chia seeds, incredible fiber content, binds up all the fats that they contain. We cannot absorb any of the fats in this. If you look at the research studies that um, look at people's levels of omega-3s um, after they consume chia seeds for three, six, 12 weeks, <clears throat> they don't change. We can't absorb any of the fats from these. It's, it's too bound up in the fiber. So I look at chia seeds like a pure fiber supplement. That's amazing. Plus, <laughs> these are just like so awesome. Um, so when a fi when fiber goes through a system, not only does it improve our digestion, our motility, um, decreases the amount of time that that stool is sitting in our gut and releasing toxicities and all of the bad stuff. <laughs> um, the fiber in this binds things. So just like it binds its own fat that it contains and doesn't allow us to absorb it, it binds other stuff in our system as it passes through. So it'll bind cholesterol, it'll bind triglycerides, it'll bind a lot of things and help us, our body to excrete them. So every time I take this, it's a fiber supplement. I know that it's like binding toxicities, impurities in floating around in my body and helps me get rid of them. So this is incredible. The other thing about this, I mentioned like you're, you're, you have no time, you're on the road, you're running around. Um, that, because chia seeds have such a hot, dense amount of fiber, they uh, can hold about three times their weight in liquid. So what I do is I take a couple tablespoons of these and I add them to water and then I chug it <laughs> and I know that they're gonna expand in my stomach and part of what, part of the, um, the system that tells our our brain that we've had enough to eat is the stomach stretching and expanding. So anything we put in our stomach that like stretches or expands, even if we didn't eat anything, tells our brain that we are good, which I love. So we know how uncomfortable hunger is, how miserable it is to try to get to our next appointment or concentrate during a meeting if we're starving. This will solve that problem. All you have to do is put it in to a glass of water and swallow it and at least for an hour it will help your stomach give your your body the illusion that you're not hungry anymore so you can get to your next thing make it to your next meal um but yeah i kind of always have these with me so like today this would have been the perfect chia seed day i didn't have time for lunch i was on the road i was running around a couple tablespoons of this and water would have held me over for a couple hours and this is awesome. This is like a multitasker. So I love, always have those on hand. Um, you might say, but Haley, I can't buy that in the grocery store. But I would say you're wrong because you can buy it in the grocery store. So, well, not the grocery store. <laughs> you can buy this at the Natural Way Fenton as of today. This is basically butter chocolate. So we take the basically butter product that I have, um, which is a collagen infused coconut oil, which is amazing for our skin, for our joints, for our mood, for our energy levels. And I basically 
reinfuse it into dark chocolate, which is in and of itself a superfood. And now you can buy this at the natural way in Fenton. So this chocolate is the perfect thing for my sweet tooth post lunch. I don't know. Do you guys get a sweet tooth post lunch? It's like as soon as like the food is down, I'm like, we're <laughs> I want something sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm always like grabbing for <laughs> my own product. Plus, I know like I'm getting my collagen, I'm getting my antioxidants. Um, dark chocolate is really it's incredible. It's so good for us. Um, so good for brain health and heart health, especially. So I love this. I get my collagen, my skin looks plump and good, my joints don't hurt. This is awesome. Um, so yeah, go buy the Natural Way Fenton. You can buy this there now, yay! Um, another sweet tooth option. I love berries. God, that does not look good. You can't see that at all. Um, some blackberries, these are my favorite. And they're really good right now, they're in season. So I do berries during the summer when they're in season. When it's winter time and they're a lot more expensive, which they are. Um, I do frozen and that is just fine. But th this is a great option for like post lunch sweet tooth. In the morning, you know, running out the door, just grab a handful of blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Those are all options, great options for your antioxidants, for your fiber, for your sweet tooth. So always have some berries on hand. And, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I need more wine. Oh wait, there it is. Um, I don't always have wine in the house, so some Thursdays I'm like scrambling to <laughs> grab, find some wine so that I have something to drink during my Facebook lives. But I was just a trader. I wanted to include this one today. I had to go buy Trader Joe's because I didn't have any wine for this Facebook live. And I was talking to the manager, and he recommended this one. Oh, I can't really find it. It's a, it's really hard to see. It's an organic wine, which means the grapes don't have any pesticides in them. Plus it's very, oh, mom's here for dinner. Um, plus it's very low in sulfites, which are what make us get a hangover. So this is an awesome, this is um, grow, Growers Reserve. Wow, I can't read. All right guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and I will see you next Thursday on Facebook Live. Bye.